Well, you saw the audio. Unfortunately, you couldn't hear it. Maybe we'll have that for you later in the show. Are you stressed out? He uh, health experts agree stress can be a major contributor to some serious illnesses like heart disease. Dr. Milady Murphy is here from Shelton's Health and Wellness Center to share a simple and effective stress management technique. Dr. Murphy, thank you so much for being with us today. Always a pleasure, Danny. You're never under stress. You handled that beautifully. But let me say, there is stress all around us and in the workplace and in our life. And, you know, a very famous cardiologist named Dr. Dean Ornish showed that a simple formula, even though it may be difficult to implement, but a simple formula of changing the way we eat, eating healthier, exercise, and stress management techniques in six months can reverse the effects of heart disease. Mm. So since that classic study by Dr. Dean Ornish, um, people in the medical profession have been looking at the combination of exercise and stress management techniques, along with good nutrition and helping to reverse the disease process. But one of the simpler coping techniques that we can do very easily in the workplace or anywhere is what is called visual imagery. Ah. Go ahead. All right. It's very simply done. It's a form of advanced daydreaming. And I say I'm sure a lot of my students do that on a daily <laughs> basis. But anyway, uh, advanced daydreaming is where you take yourself to a, a beautiful situation that instantly calms the body and mind. Like for me, it would be going to the beach and thinking about the crashing of the waves and, and watching the waves flow to the shore and then smelling and bringing in other senses and helping in to relax the body and mind, like smelling the salt air, imagining that as well, feeling the salt between your you know, the sand between your toes and the mm -hmm. salt too. And just bringing in as many senses as you can in that visual imagery that's supposed to relax the body and mind. And you can do that almost anywhere. And if you combine it with what is called diaphragmatic breathing, mm -hmm. belly breathing or deep breathing, mm -hmm. if you can do that with that visual imagery and, and practice it, it is said to instantly calm the body and mind. Mm -hmm. And it is called a coping technique. It's called visual imagery. And combined with diaphragmatic breathing is very powerful in getting that calming effect on the body. So, and what you're saying is, is basically that, that maybe at work, letting your mind wander, your thoughts wander, is right. good for you. It's healthy. So if the Absolutely. boss comes over there and says, what are you doing? You say, well, I'm coping with stress. <laughs> Dr. Murphy told me I could do this. It was good for me. Absolutely. But, but, but there's more to it than that. You, right. you said... Uh, the visualization needs to be accompanied by also the sensory elements that you try to reincorporate while you're doing it. Very good. The scent, the taste, That's maybe right. the, the, with you it's the beach. Right. Yeah, the wind, maybe hearing the seagulls, right. that sort of thing. Very good. Now, Daddy. is this something that you could, I don't know, jump on YouTube and, and maybe, you know, beach sounds and listen to that? Very good. Do you want to tie that in? Absolutely. Or okay. You know, a lot of people do that, that become advanced in this form of visual imagery. They bring in soft music, mm -hmm. or they may bring in beach sounds or calming sounds, and then attach it into their process of calming their body and mind. You can get as advanced in the technique, or you can do it as simply as you said, sitting in your chair at work, taking, letting your mind wander to a very calming, beautiful place that you can in infuse the other senses. That's one of the best ways to do it. Now, is there a way that you know of, do you have any tips on, on tuning out the clutter around you when you're trying to do this? Because my work environment is organized chaos every day. It's right. like a zoo. The phone's exactly. ringing, people are talking, people are laughing. Right. Somebody's listening to something on this computer. Somebody's listening to something else over here. Everybody that works in television is a big mouth. Nobody ever shuts up. You know? <laughs> so finding time or, or, or just being able to focus enough to, to find a, uh, a, a quiet spot, I don't know. How can you do that? Well, you know, let me tell you, if you're advanced in your technique mm -hmm. and you've practiced this at home mm -hmm. in a quiet setting, you can do it almost anywhere. I think right. men are very adept at daydreaming. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. but there you go. But I really do think that once you've practiced this, that you could be at your computer and you can block out all that in taking your mind to that calming place and then bringing the other senses to that. 
and it can be done almost anywhere once you've practiced it. You, but you want to practice it in a calm place at first. Right. Absolutely. And then the more you do it, the more adept you are at it. And so then eventually it can be done almost anywhere. All right, super. So practice makes perfect. And really quickly, because we're out of time, yes. if none of this is working for you, you need to go see a doctor, right? Absolutely, yes, because there's many different types of coping techniques out there. Mm -hmm. But if you find that none of them are working after you've been practicing them, see a physician immediately. Get, get some professional guidance and help, maybe the right medication to help with the stress, the anxiety, and whatever else ails you. There you go. Whatever else ails you. Ah, the list is quite late. It's Dr. Right. Murphy, thank you so much for Always a pleasure, today. Danny. The Health and Wellness Center is located at Shelton State Community College. You can find out more about them online at sheltonstate.edu.